Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Bron Sherell and welcome to my channel. So on today's video, we're going to talk about what's been going on with me over the past few weeks and also we're going to talk about my weight loss journey. Stick around guys because you do not want to miss this video. I get into this video i gotta tell y'all about this new mini may drink i found from kroger's it's the new hibiscus drink y'all get into it it is the bomb so um i'd be so afraid to tell you guys what new product or what new drink or new food i find because as soon as i go back it be gone like but anyway share the love spread the love right but yeah so you can find this drink at kroger's like I say, it's the new Hibiscus Mini May drink. And it's everything, you guys. Alright, so getting into this video. Y'all, I've been on this journey of trying to lose weight, like, I want to say since forever. But over the last past three and a half years, my weight has skyrocketed to its highest. Like, ugh, it's just been bothering me, like, for the longest. But anyway, I'm on this journey to get healthier again, you know, to shred some pounds. I'm trying to, you know, lose about 80 pounds or so. I know that's a lot, right? But I'll be following this page on Facebook. And the group is for black women losing weight. I'm pretty sure all women are on the group or whatever. But yeah, so I be watching women shred like 100 pounds, 200 pounds. So I'm like... Dang, I can't even lose my little 80 pounds I'm trying to lose. But yeah, something just hit me. And I just, just decided that, look, no more. I'm going to go ahead and get back, you know, in shape, you know, and be that girl again. So recently, my daughter, she came back home. And we just been going on outings, going on picnics, going to the beach, you know, even walking around our neighborhood. You know, just trying to get some vitamin D, honey, that fresh sunlight. But yeah, so in this video, you guys are going to see us on our little outings. And you guys, I hope you like what you see and enjoy this video. And we're going to get right back into it to discuss it. All right. you guys so now as you can see it's a new day and i just showed you guys some of the foods that we've been eating all the time so it's just time for a better lifestyle now i have on my waist trainer now i'm about to get ready and enjoy my nature walk with my daughter All right, y'all. So we out here, we're doing our nature walk. We're getting a better lifestyle. Yeah, boy, I'm out here sweating. So yeah, got my mini me with me.
Well, we made it to the beach. And as you guys can see, we are really enjoying ourselves. Now, I went ahead and packed me some lunch. As you can see, I am eating some kiwis. And I did bring my water because, you know, it's hot out here and your girl has to stay hydrated. Now, in this clip, you will see me doing some grounding. Grounding is very healthy for the body. You can stay charged and connected to the universe. If you do not know much about grounding, feel free to do your research about it. All right. Ruin my vibe. Usually I don't do this often. But this recruiting isn't an option. Do to one you. today the other day we went to the beach i'm sweating like crazy but yeah guys we're on a nature walk today i am burning these calories guys like for real it's so beautiful out here Just say you will, will, will come to and chill, chill, chill. Just say like you will, will, will come to and chill, chill, chill. Just say like you will, will, come to and chill. Y'all, I just want y'all to know y'all can do anything y'all put y'all mind to. Believe it or not, your mind is so powerful. If y'all trying to go ahead and crush those goals, get fit, do it. Don't wait until tomorrow. I'm sweating out here. I had me a great workout today. I believe I could go farther than what I done did already. But, you know, whew. stay motivated, y'all. I'm out of breath. I need some water. But after I get my water, I'm going to keep walking. My daughter, she is painting she's having some me time again so i'm gonna let her get her her little me time in so i'm about to walk maybe about another mile yeah i'm about to walk another mile so then we're gonna go ahead and head home all right Okay, guys, so I found these foot pads from Burlington's. Now, I've been wanting to try these for the longest, and I just so happen to run across them. So, the pads, they detox your feet. When you first apply them, the pad is white, but after overnight during your sleep, they're brown. So, they eliminate all the toxins from your feet. So, these are so amazing. So, I'm going to show you guys how I applied them, and then I took them off.
All right, so what did you guys think of the video? Look, I know I've been eating good, like all kinds of fatty foods, but I cut it out, I promise. So, um, yeah, so I have really been perfecting my cooking. I've been cooking quesadillas, steaks, pastas, you name it. So um, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what I've been eating to keep this weight on. So now I'm going to start eating a lot more healthier just to get this weight off of me by the winter time. Now I have the type of body that has to be moving around. I have to constantly like move around, you know, and work out. I hold a lot of water weight also. So I want to show you guys my Fitbit watch up close and personal. This watch is bomb. It calculates your calories, your heart rate, all that good stuff like that. And also there's a thing called resting calories. Resting calories is like we're burning calories while we're sitting down, believe it or not, while we sleep as well. Now, the bigger you are, the more calories you burn. Somehow, I managed to burn about a thousand calories overnight. When I'm not wearing my watch, it calculates my BMI. So, therefore, it adds up, you know, the estimated calories that I burn. So, a lot of people do, do this keto diet. Now, keto, I did that and it actually works. Now, what you do is you calculate the calories that you burn throughout the day. And then you also, you count your calories of your intake, you know how much you're eating. So a lot of people say you can eat whatever you want on keto. It's pretty much true. It's all about calorie intake. Now what I was doing, I was basically trying not to eat over 1500 calories a day. So if I know I'm burning at least a thousand calories a day, I know I have to not go over 15. So that'll leave me, you know, with 500 calories over. And it's really simple. So, like I say, I'm down 12 pounds and it's working, guys. So, I'm so excited for that. All right. <laughs> okay, so, now if you happen to have a slip up, this daughter's tea is going to get you right every time. This daughter's tea has been around ever since I can remember. I used to take this tea back in 2008. <laughs> yeah. The tea basically eliminates everything you done ate over the last past week or weeks. It's serious. It's, a, it's like a laxative. But, um, <laughs> warning. If you take this tea, you must be at home all day. It's going to clean you out. But yeah, now I know there are many ways to lose weight. People even try water fasting. I try water fasting for 10 days. I actually did it twice for spiritual reasons and for weight loss reasons. But I do not suggest doing it for weight loss reasons, especially if you're going to start back eating the same way you've been eating. You're just going to gain the weight back plus more. Um, for me... I will continue to fast just for spiritual reasons only. You feel clear. You, you're able to think, you know. So, spiritual fasting is, is a yes. But, um, dieting is, it's like I say, it's mental. You have to be able to control what you put inside your body. If you cannot control your mental, the rest will not, you know, the rest will not work right. Now, speaking of spiritual beliefs, lately, over the past past few years, I have really been, you know, trying to find myself, you know, reach my highest potential. I am a woman of many talents. I sew, I design, I make earrings, I can write, you know, but overall, I just feel like there is more to me. I feel like I'm not serving God the way he wants me to live some days. Some days I do not get out the bed because I am an overthinker. I be thinking of ways, you know, for me to be a better mother, a better daughter, you know. I just really want to be, I just really want to be living in my highest frequency level, you know. I'm all about that now. I do not, like, go out how I used to go out. I do not do, like, things I used to do, so, y'all, I just really, 
I have really just been going through it. I feel like I've been going through a spiritual warfare some, some days. You know, um, recently I have came into the truth of who I am as a black woman. I do identify as being an Israelite woman. Um, that does not um, affect the way I feel about other nationalities. But... <laughs> I'll probably get more into that in another video, you guys. But, um, yeah, like I say, I just really be trying to be the best person I can be. So that's why I say I have been water fasting because, you know, if you read the Bible, water fasting is recommended for a lot of, you know, a lot of benefits. But, yeah, so... Guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And like I say, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. All right, guys.